Hey everyone, welcome. It is day two of 30 ornaments in 30 days. So we are on our second ornament and tonight we are going to do something maybe a little unconventional for Christmas, but maybe not. We are going to do this really, really super cute little cow pattern. So I have drawn up this pattern. Yes, this pattern will be available on my Etsy shop, just like the one I did today. Um, if you haven't um, seen the announcement, I did create a, mm, I want to call it kind of a mini kind of workshop. Hi, Kathy, how are you? Um, and put that on my Etsy shop. So that has the pattern, it has the supply list, and it has the step-by-step -step videos on how to create that snowman um, ornament. So that was really, really fun. So this, if you missed it, this was the one that we did yesterday. Hey, April, how are you? Um, please make sure that if you haven't done so already that you go ahead and like and follow the page as well as, you know, invite others to enjoy it with you. That would be awesome. Share the joy. That's what I always say. Share the joy and the love. So we're kind of waiting for a little bit. We'll see um, if others are just getting the notification that the, that the, uh, painting workshop is starting. I can see people kind of hopping on here kind of slowly. So let me know where you're watching from, um, how your day is going today. I know it was a little bit crazy. My kids at school were a little crazy today. I'm not sure I, there's moon stuff going on or what, but um, it's pretty awesome that everybody's here right now. So we can relax and have fun and just paint some ornaments. So let me know. Hey, April, how are you? Where are you watching from? I forgot where you told me yesterday. Hi from Georgia. Hey, Tracy. Glad to see you here again tonight. Please make sure that you in, um, invite others to join us. You can take this and there's a little arrow in the bottom of the um, video. You can hit that and hey, I'm Montana. That's right. That's right. You can hit that and put it on your page and share it with others. Um, April's Montana, Tracy's from Georgia. Awesome. Awesome, we're just giving people just a couple minutes here. If you guys missed it, I just showed, we're gonna be doing this fun little, this fun little Christmas cow. He's super cute. She, maybe it's a she, I think it's a she. We're gonna go with the she. She's super cute. So we're definitely gonna need a name again tonight. So that way, so that I can use her name. How's everybody tonight? Let me know where you're coming from, where you're tuning in from. I see people slowly jumping on, that's awesome. So, awesome. So I am going to be using this little canvas um, and I'm gonna end up gluing a hanger on the back and I'll show you guys that probably after tonight because I, I wanted to not put it on quite yet um, because I wanted to make sure that this was flat while I was painting it. So I will be adding that on later and I'll show you guys tomorrow when I, when I get on. Um, I'm going to definitely throw my glasses on and, uh, like, did I just, I just got paint all over my hands and I don't know if I got it from my glasses. That's probably not a good thing. Probably not a good thing. All right. So I'm going to tip you guys down just a little bit because I know you guys said that yesterday you were having trouble kind of seeing what I was doing. So I'm just going to tip you down a little bit have no idea how I got paint on my hands, but oh well. All right, so again, I'm just using acrylic paints like I always do. Painting on a small four by four inch canvas. And we have our little Christmas cow. Now I like to start with my eyes first, just because they're the little, the little windows to the soul, so. When I paint the eyes, I kind of get an idea of the personality. It kind of helps me figure out personality. Oh, thanks, Tracy. You like the cow? Great. 
Good. I think she's gonna be really cute when we're done. So I'm just gonna go in and just kind of black out my colors first. So that um, I can just kind of figure stuff out. And get all that squared away. So I'm just taking and kind of doing the outlines here a little bit. And I'm not using a white canvas this time, I'm or a black canvas this time, I'm using a white canvas this time. Instead, oh, let's see here. of establish where things are at a little bit here for myself. How are you guys tonight? How's everything going? Do you guys have a good day? know how your day went today. Turn myself off a piece of paper towel. All right. Again, I'm just using acrylic paints. Yeah, I'm going to add that little life light there. Tracy, doing okay, enjoying making and thinking of ideas for ornaments. Awesome. Love that. All right, so let me see. I'm using mostly browns, white, black. Um, just kind of a mixture of colors here for the fur and I think I'm gonna wrap what's called wrapping the canvas so I think I'm gonna bring the image down along the side of the canvas so that it also kind of goes along the edge so that it shows it just looks more finished in my opinion when you do that it just looks more finished And I like doing that. I like I like making it look wrapped and it just continues the image. I like doing that on all of my big paintings too when I do big paintings as well. Uh, let's see, what did I just grab? Now the fun thing about this part She's already adorable. Well, thank you. Thank you, April. Um, the great thing about doing this project is that um, if you follow any of my regular art, it's, I love doing abstract stuff and some somewhat loose painting. Now, if I would have, if you would have asked me that, like, gosh, three years ago, I would have told you that you were going to be crazy, but I've really learned to kind of 
um, embrace the messy. And so I've kind of started um, doing more loose, kind of loose painting and loose work, which is really kind of fun. It's kind of freeing, so. I'm doing lots of mixed media things and it's really kind of fun. So I'm just kind of adding some dark spots right now. Thanks, Kim. Thank you. How are you tonight? Glad you're here. I'm good, just finishing up work, trying to catch up on the fun. Awesome, I'm glad. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Awesome, how are you? Glad to see that you're here. Yay. We're doing a little cow tonight for those of you that are just joining us. So here's the pattern that I have drawn up. And yeah, Chippy's gonna have a girlfriend, Michelle. That's right. Michelle has a great discount coupon page. And um, I drew up the little cow, the Chippy the cow, for her, um, for her business, for their local. So we gotta think of a name for her too. She's gotta have a name. And I think maybe as I as I get a little further, maybe we'll be able to figure out a name for her, but she definitely needs a name. Good, busy, busy day. That's good though, Michelle, that's good. I know you got a lot going on. And busy probably means really good, so. All right, so I'm just adding a little bit of white here. I know it's kind of hard to see on a white canvas, but I need that white there. Again, I'm just wrapping my canvas, which means I'm bringing my colors right along the edge, right along the side. So I'm thinking with the hanger on this one, I might do um, wood beads or maybe black and white buffalo plaid ribbon. I'm not sure quite yet how I want to, how I want to do this one. But I think it's going to be one of those two things. Um, let's see. Oh my goodness. 
she's already getting a little bit of a a little bit of a toot here I think kind of looking at her she's very very fun very fun So we're gonna to need to think of a fun name. Thanks, Tracy, thank you. We need to think of a fun name. Brighten her up just a little bit. I'm sure you guys can kind of see. I love light, bright, light and bright, light, bright, and fun. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She's so cute already. Were you guys able to see, did the event show up for you guys before, as soon as I came on live or before I came on live, did it show up for you? Because it was telling me that it was going to, but I don't know because I don't see what it actually looks like, you know, before it goes. So I never really know if it actually pops up the way it says it's, you know, going to. I don't know. It did not for me. I had a heck of a time getting in. All good now. And share to my family. Awesome. Thank you so much, Michelle. Sorry you had trouble getting in. That's weird. But it's Facebook, so, you know, who knows? I'm gonna grab a little bit of that yellow again and bring in that light yellow in the in the botox a little bit here. There we go. Looky, looky, looky. Check her out. Isn't she so cute? Oh my gosh. Stinking cute. Stinking cute. All right. So I'm going to 
mix up a color here to go on her nose. Oops, and I just put my finger right in the wet paint. Kind of this peachy salmony pink color I made, which works really good. Very cute. Can't wait to try. Oh yay! So I'm doing that shading like I usually normally do. Hi, Linda. How are you? Dorothy, welcome. I, we need a name. We're going to need a name, Dorothy. We're going to need a name. Boss, bossy. There you go. Blossom the cow. Ooh, that's a good one, Kim. Flowers for the name, says Tracy. Bessie, buttermilk, daisy. Oh gosh, you guys, all really good ones. I don't know. I may have to put the list on and then we can vote. We can vote on it. Because those are all really, really good names. Really good. All right. So what is something that you guys do that's kind of like the cow is kind of unconventional for Christmas, but she's going to, she's going to fit in. She, we're going to make this work. So she, so she fits into Christmas, but what, what is like your favorite Christmas thing that might be a little bit unconventional? People might think is a little bit unconventional, not the norm that you might do. Oh, Linda says Willow. That's a good name, too. Does anybody do anything that's not kind of the norm for Christmas? For Christmas Eve or just celebrating the holiday season? Hi, Anel, how are you?
Let's see here. Take a little less white. We are very traditional. Since we were kids, we have always done... Oh, the pickle at Christmas. We do that at my in-laws. We do that at my in-laws. Much more popular these days than when I was younger. Yep. Hi, Ann. How are you? Um, yeah, we do the pickle. Hey, Nikki. And if anybody doesn't know, the pickle is a German tradition, and you hide the pickle on the Christmas tree and supposedly, and Michelle, correct me if I'm wrong, um, supposedly whoever finds the pickle is going to have good luck for the rest of the, the rest of the year. Is that correct? Did I, did I say that correctly? We did that pickle in Christmas tree in the grass. Yep. Yeah, we did. We was at my, my in-laws house. We used to do that because my sister-in-law used to live in Germany and she started it when she came home um, for the holidays when she was living in Germany. And we just kind of started doing it ever since then at my in-laws house. And they have like, um, like age groups. So it used to be the little kids got to do it, the middle kids got to do it, and then the adults, the adult kids got to do it. Um, uh, but now pretty much it's just, now it's just the adults, which are like the brothers and sisters and spouses. And then, um, then the kids have their own, their own time to find it. And then you get a, like one of those tin things of popcorn that I have not heard, but yes, German. And the person who finds it gets a prize. Yeah, we get, we get tins of popcorn for our prize. Yep. Oh my gosh, some years there were tears, kids crying, almost knocking down Christmas trees. Oh my gosh. Crazy, so fun. So fun. Definitely a memory, I'm sure my kids will have and they'll probably carry that on I think to their families too because it's it is fun my uncles on the farm named every one of their cows wish I could find my notebook where I kept notes ah oh, during the summers on the farm oh that's awesome that's so cool. I love that. I know some of you are just joining us, but please make sure that you like and follow the page so you get notifications when I'm going live and every day for 30 30 days here, um, although Thursdays may be pre-recorded because I work at the gallery and now they just changed the mall hours where the gallery is at to closing at nine o'clock. And I'm coming from Green Bay, which is about a 40 minute drive for me. And um, so that would mean I wouldn't get home till almost 10 o'clock and that, would be pretty late to do a to do a painting I think wouldn't be so bad if we all didn't have to get up early in the morning some maybe don't but yes we did growing up and I did it for my kids too oh that's awesome I love that I love that Dorothy such good memories All right. 
So I put some flowers up on the top here of her head and I'm going to turn them into, it's like kind of like a Christmas swag. So I have some ornaments in there and I have some ribbon and I have some um, uh, poinsettia flowers. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start painting those. Yeah, we're pretty traditional. Um, does anybody does anybody celebrate their Christmas on Christmas Eve rather than Christmas Day? I know some people do that. We usually do. Well, we've always done Christmas Day, but we always did church on Christmas Eve, like the early the kids mass early. And then we'd come home and grill out and make a big yummy dinner and then uh, go out and look at Christmas lights after that. Do you guys do like just uh, traditional stuff on Christmas Eve or did you celebrate on Christmas Day or both? You know, some families do both. Or if you don't if you don't do Christmas, what do you do for your holidays? Do you that's it, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, what do you celebrate? Does everyone here do Saint Nick? Until recently I had not I had no idea. Mostly a Wisconsin thing. Um, Michelle, my parents never did um, Saint Nick. They never did Saint Nick. There you go, guys. There's a peek, peekaroo. Um, we never did Saint Nick, and then like our kids, we had kids, and it was like, oh my gosh, what are we doing for Saint Nick? Thank you, thanks, Michelle. It was like, what are we doing for Saint Nick? Like what? Nothing. <laughs> I think we cel I celebrated Saint Nick in high school, in French class. That was like the first time that I kind of realized like what it actually was and why it was celebrated and stuff. But otherwise, I really had no idea. Really had no idea. When I was a child, we went to church on Christmas Eve and then had birthday parties. Oh, that's a cool idea, April. That's really cool. Oh, thanks, Linda. Thank you. What a great idea. Great idea. Shauna, how are you? It's 
So I'm just going in with a little bit of white to lighten up some spots. And I'll go back in and hit it again with a little bit of red. We always did Christmas Eve and my grandma's after church. She made chili. Not sure why, but it was tradition. Well, that's part of the, that's part of your family tradition. Tradition. Christmas morning early, like 5 a.m. It was my parents. <laughs> we are not there up by 5.30. My dad is calling. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's dedication to the tradition, man. Holy. I don't know what we're what we're gonna do this year. I'm not really sure what the plans look like. Everybody's all of our siblings have their own families and um we've had both my parents are gone and one of Corey's dad's passed away. So it's kind of like, well, I'm not sure what this year's going to look like. We'll see. We usually get together with my sister-in-law and brother. But sometimes they end up with plans going somewhere like Thanksgiving. They're going to Florida. So... Never know what's going to happen. All right. Um, let's see. I think we might add a little bling to those ornaments too. I'm going to do white so that I can put the bling on them. I need to, I've got the red still, but I'm going to need to go find my green. I think I've got like gold and stuff too. You guys got me blinging stuff out. Oh, Belle. Oh, Noelle. Oh, that's a really good name. That's a really good name. Okay. Okay. What about your favorite Christmas song? I kind of named mine yesterday with the Holly Jolly Christmas with Burl Ives, that's my favorite. Favorite Christmas song. I need a bell like Noel for the name. Yep. Yeah. Might need a bell. I don't know. I was thinking maybe a wreath around the neck, but we'll see. I might leave her. I kind of may maybe a bell. I come, I come upon a midnight star. Oh, that's a good one, um, Linda. Susie Snowflake, my mom always sang. Oh yeah. Yep. My mom, my mom sang that song too. That's funny. All right, so I'm gonna bring that off the edge there. That must have been, I don't know. I think my mom might have been quite a bit older than your mom though, so I say it must have been like a generational song, but I think I think your mom was younger than my mom. I'm going 
need to put on eyelashes. Ooh, there you go. go oh let's see I've got more greenery over there oops So, let me see, I'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow and just do some little dots in here. All right. Already starting to think background, guys. What are you thinking? You guys did such a good job picking out the background color yesterday. What do we think for background on this one? Hi, Amber, how are you? Thank you for joining me, it's good to see you. What do you think for background color, guys? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Jenny light blue sky blue yep those are good ideas hi Kim how are ya that's those are good ideas that's kind of what I was thinking too but you guys always have such great ideas so I don't mind throwing it out there to see what you guys come up with But that's kind of the angle I was I was thinking too. She's so adorable, she makes me smile. Oh, good, April. A light color, you don't wanna, no, nothing to distract from her. She's, 
she just she has such a such a like sweet demeanor to her such a sweet demeanor just a sweet girl April says, yes, she does. Hey, Nicole, how are you? Thanks so much, everybody, for coming and joining me. Sure makes painting a whole lot more fun, I'll tell ya. Super appreciate you. Super appreciate you. Um. Hey, Luann, how are you? Oh, no worries, no worries, no worries. I'll give you a... We're doing a cow tonight. We're doing a cow. We got a whole bunch of really great names. I think um, I'm gonna put a poll together uh, and post it after we're done and see what name people think. What does she, what does she look like? Who does she look like? We had lots and lots of good um, Lots and lots of good ideas. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it was Dorothy. Dorothy thought of Noel. That's a really cute one. But there were lots and lots and lots of good ideas. Again, because you guys are also brilliant. And I love that everybody has such great ideas and that I can ask and you guys will just throw them out there. That is awesome. You guys are amazing. There are some pages that Nobody talks and it's so quiet and it's, oh, it's painful to watch some people go live because they just, they, there's no conversation, but you guys are awesome. I just love you all. And I thank you. I'm grateful for you. Super grateful. red berries I think here I need a little more red up here. Those two big flowers there are kind of a lot, so I may have to do something on there just to cover cover part of those up just a little bit. It just seems like it's just a lot. I still want to learn to paint as good as you do. Oh, Luann, it is practice. Practice, practice, practice. But, in, you know, I do... When I teach, I teach step by step because that's the way people learn the best, breaking it down into bite-sized pieces. And 
being able to stop and watch, rewatch. That's important too. So all my videos and stuff, I always do it so that um, if you're watching and you stop, you can go back and rewatch and follow along, paint along, stop it, do or watch and then do because everybody's learning style is different. That's really what gives me the up on teaching painting classes because I, I, um, because I, I understand the way people learn. So I kind of have a little bit of a, I feel like a little bit of a teaching advantage there. Yellow is a good idea, Michelle. I am actually gonna do a light, a little bit of a light yellow, and we'll do kind of a, like a little abstract circle flow or kinda. Let's do, I'm gonna cover part of that up. I'm gonna do here, and that's gonna turn into like a peachy kind of color, and that's all right, I don't mind. something similar up there. And then if I can find my gold, I should look over in my bucket. I think I've got some. I think I've got some gold um, glittery paint over there. It was crazy guys during COVID, like all, well, I don't know all, I shouldn't say that, but like places like Walmart and stuff, and I don't know if maybe because they were open still, um, they sold out of paint, like all of it, gone, everything that was like the acrylic paint, like the bottles of paint and stuff. It was crazy. I've never, ever seen anything like that before ever. She has a sweet personality. She would Wisconsin State Fair. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, Rose. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I just dripped on her. Don't be dripping on the cow. There you go. Look at that. She's not done yet, though. Not done. Not done. All right. Oh, let's see. I'm going to grab this blue. And this white. And I'm gonna thin it out just a little bit. And I'm gonna just test a little bit next to her. What do you think of that blue, you guys? 
Let me know what you think of that blue. <clears throat> I think it's gonna be okay. I think actually it's gonna be good. Yes, Tracy says yes, all right. So I'm just going to paint the sides because anybody who knows me, again, like I just said a little bit ago, I like to wrap my colors around my sides. I just think it looks so much better. It's a little more work, but that's okay. I don't mind. And if you guys try any of these paintings, I would love to see them. I would love to see them. I think I'll have to check the settings on this page. I think you can I think you can post. I have to okay it first, but I think I think I have it where you can post. And if I don't, I will I will change it to where you can you can post something I'll, I always check it first just to make sure I just like to protect this page and protect everybody on it make sure there's not inappropriate stuff but I would love to see the examples if you guys try any of them or can come up with your own because I know some of the ladies in here um, are really super creative Okay, I gotta lift this up. Are super creative and um, come up with some amazing little works of art themselves. So, yeah, that blue was a good idea, you guys. I posted my snowman in comments last night. Oh, I'll look. I didn't see him. I didn't. I didn't get a chance. I don't think I got a chance to look. I'll look. I'll look. Well, that's a good idea to be able to post it in the comments too. That way it stays with the, that way it stays with the video. That's a good idea. Again, great idea, Tracy. Didn't think of that. Are these for sale or can we paint along? Um, both, 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 both. These are gonna be for sale at the end. Um, we're gonna do all, I'm gonna um, have a sale probably December 1st um, at night. Oops, I forgot to do the green right there. Um, December 1st, and then Dorothy, 20% of the profits from all of the ornaments um, go to Feeding America for the holidays. Even if it wasn't the holidays, I love Feeding America, but 20% um, of, of, the, of the profits go to to Feeding America. And then I think, I think, I'm excited about this, I may have found a company who would be willing to um, match whatever we make. So it'll be double whatever the, whatever the um, profits are from the sale. Um, it'll be, it'll be double of that. So I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited. That would be awesome. Let's 
So I'm just finishing up this blue in the background. Oh my gosh, you guys. She's amazing. She has her own personality and all of, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, she's so cute. She's got personality, personality, love it. Yep, yep. That would be wonderful, a match from a company. Yes, yes. Um, I think um, the company that my husband works for would be willing to do that. So that would be awesome. Here, um, let's fill in a little white flower there. Those other white spots are. I'm gonna find some find some uh, glitter paint here. We'll give her. We'll give her just a little bling. She needs a little bling. Where did I mix up that blue-gray color? It's already dry. That was fast. It dried up really fast. Let's see if I can mix that up again. Where can we get the pattern of what you are painting? Um, Teresa, it is in my Etsy. I'm gonna have it in my Etsy shop. It is um, Art on Creekside. Dot etsy dot com is what the is what the address is that you can find it and I'll have it in there tomorrow um, I have I have the full and actually um, since you asked that um, I have the full pattern supply list and video step-by-step -step videos on how to how to paint the um, how to paint the ornament so it's all in there and for this week um i think i'll i'm going to change it for for yesterday's i think i'm going to change it i'm going to maybe i'll make it until sunday um mo normally my tutorials are 24 dollars a piece but this week for all of the ornaments i'm going to do 10. i'm going to do 10 for the whole the whole tutorial so that's a pretty good that's a pretty good deal um, and then, like I said, 20% 20, 20 of my, when I sell the ornaments and then also 20% of any of the tutorials too, that I, that I sell, will will donate that as well.
go. Oh yeah, I was gonna do that. Uh, I mixed up that gray and then I totally forgot about it. There we go. I grabbed a little bit of that bright red again and brought that in there. Hi, Shirley. How are you? All right. I do. Uh, let me see if I have gold. Hold on one second. I'm going to check in my stash of specialty paints here. I know I've got gold somewhere. I know. Oh, wait. Hold on. It's not. Hmm. It's just a gold metallic. It's not glitter. I thought it was glitter. Here, you guys, take a look at this. This is kind of funny. I have every other color. Oh, thanks, Michelle, for putting that on there. I have like every other color other than gold. I have like this gold, like metallic-y color, but I don't want that, I want glitter. You'll never hear me, hear me say that again. Let me see, maybe down underneath my stash, oh stash down here. I've got so much paint, you guys, it's crazy. I was not one that ran out of paint during the paint shortage of COVID by any means. All right, well, let's see here. I do like this kind of, uh, uh, maybe not. And this is like a silvery, like a silvery multi, like, I don't know if you guys can see that. But uh, I'm kind of like, do I just wait? I can do the, I can do a little bit of green and I can do a little bit of red, but maybe, you know what, I'm gonna, I know I've got gold here somewhere, I know I do. It's just the, just the ability to find it. Little bit of green. And a little bit of green over here. Actually, I'm gonna just put some little spots with the green. And then I'm gonna let that all dry. There you go, you guys, what do you think? 
She is super, super, super cute. Super cute. If you like it, give her a, give me a heart. Let me let me see some hearts. That way I know that you like it. Hi Patty, how are you? Oh, thanks Kim. Thank you, thank you Tracy. Like I said, I'm gonna finish it. I can't decide if I want to do um, like wooden beads with a hanger, or if I want to do some. Um, like buffalo plaid, I've got some buffalo plaid black and white ribbon, maybe I'll do that. I'm not really sure. I know like the natural wood bead stuff is really popular right now too. And I do have some of those somewhere here, along with everything else that I have in this room. It's funny because everybody complains that I have a ton of stuff but boy, when my children need something for school or, you know, something to make something, they all know right where to come. So I even like her better than the snowman last night, but I'm partial to cows. Yes. Well, she is very different. You know, like we said, there's, we're, we're going to do some different styles of things. We're going to try some things. Some things might be a little bit crafty. Some things might be more artistic. So, um, yeah, we're just going to try a bunch of stuff. Walmart has natural white, red, and green bead garland in different sizes on the garlands. Oh, good to know. Good to know. Thank you, Luann. That's good to know, Dorothy. Really good to know. Well, all right, folks, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you so, so much. Um, I think that I will be on tomorrow, I wanna say seven o'clock. It'll probably be a little bit later, a later one like last night, which seems to work for a lot of people better. So, um, good, good, Dorothy, I'm really glad. I'm glad you guys love it. And please share, share it with your friends. Um, you bet, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you for coming. We the more the merrier. Big party, guys. Let's make this a party. Let's make it have let's make it fun. Let's make it fun. So tomorrow I will be on um 7 p.m. Tomorrow's Wednesday, right? Yeah. Ooh, gotta think of what day it is. 7 p.m. Central Time um for another ornament, another installment of 30 ornaments in 30 days. Day number three tomorrow. So have a great rest of the night, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for liking and following my page. And thank you so much for inviting friends to um, join us as well. So have a great night. I will see you all tomorrow.